Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Deluxe Silver Streak figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to unbox him live, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging so that we can then see how you can use his accessories in each mode. We will of course do a comparison with him and although it's not the Blue Streak version, his G1 self, and of course, some other figures with very similar names um, that have used the same mold and some other figures down the Generations toy line as well. OK, then let's have a go at opening this guy up. So this, I believe, is a Target exclusive in America. I have to thank my friend Tim Banerjee, who was on there with over there with work. And he literally called me up late one night and said, what are you after from Target? And this is what I told him I needed. So he got me this from there. I can't tell you which Target it was. I can't remember. But the most important thing is that I've got one. So you can see, in fact, let's have a look at the packaging. So we've got the open window, which I know lots of people, myself included, to be honest, I'm not really happy with it, but I, I suppose I understand why they're doing it. We've got the fact that it's the subline, the buzzworthy Bumblebee, and they are classing this in the legacy toy line as well. So we've got some nice artwork there on the side. I think that's Mirage RC, um, and of course Bumblebee. And then if we spin it round, we've got the fact that it's going to take 15 steps to transform him. And of course you can see he's called Silver Streak. And there is brilliant artwork, excuse the glare of him. I've actually got an original flyer with the original version of him in there because this is what this figure is based on. I think I've opened the wrong side. I probably should have opened the bottom. Oh no, he slides out okay. So you can see the accessories are all just resting on the cardboard. They're not held in at all. We've got the, I suppose, traditional now as it is, orange instructions. And there he is. What I'm going to show you now very quickly, and this is based on his original Diaclone um, colours. So this is one of the very, very first Transformers toy catalogues. I've done a video on this separately if you want to see it in more detail. And if we have a look at Blue Streak there, or Silver Streak as he is, there he is. So you can see pretty much exactly the same colour scheme as that figure. Now, the ironic thing is um, he's called Silver Streak, as you can see on the box, but he's basically blue. And the funny thing is that the um, one which is all silver, which is, of course, this particular guy and, of course, his Generation 1 original self are known as um, Blue Streak. So crazy, crazy. And that's not just something that's been mixed up like, you know, your frenzy is red, etc. Frenzy is blue. That's just the way they named him. Right. What I'm going to do now is take this guy with the packaging and come straight back to you. Okay then, so fresh out the box for some quick first impressions and again, like it. I know we've seen the mould before, but I think this colour scheme on it really, really works. With regards to articulation, as of course with it being a new figure, arms all the way around, up to the side, both sides with it being the shoulder, that'll move up and down as well. Bicep or elbow flexion. It's very, very tight, but you do have wrist which will turn around. You can see that's just come out as well, to be honest. Um, I had the same problem. I'm being honest now. I say first impressions. This is the second take of this because when I went to the head and I turned it around, it literally just came straight off in my hand. You can see that at the end of the video, but you can see nods up and down, turns all the way around. You've got waist, um, twizzle, hips, knees, ankle rock, everything, as you'd expect. I don't normally do too much um, on the articulation because these figures, with them being new, obviously have so, so many. Um, I'm also looking forward to coming back in a second when I do the proper part and putting these in the shoulders because I've just noticed you've got the ports on the top. So I'm liking the look of that. First impressions, really like the guy. Now let's have a look at him in more detail in the alternate mode first. OK, then, so let's have a look at them in the alternate mode. And I really, again, really like this. Quick apologies for no transformation process on this video. It will be uploaded separately. One, to keep the length of the video down and two, not to spoil it for people who don't want to see it. So you can see we've already got a five millimeter port there. We've got two cutouts on the bonnet as well. So what we can do in a second, we're going to attach all the accessories. I've just noticed that wasn't clipped in, so I've just pushed it right in. The wheels, they look OK. I think they could perhaps have made a little bit more of an effort here in the middle. Um, but I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful looking alternate mode. Uh, with regards to some of the original, not the original Diaclone version of this, um, it's, it's about the same length. It's obviously a little bit chunkier. Um, of course, this one's die cast a lot of it, whereas this is plastic, so the weight difference is huge. Um, but it just looks, yeah, it's just a great alternate mode, isn't it? It looks really, really good. Let's move this 
out of the way and let's see what it looks like with the accessories so as i say you've got a couple of choices you can pop the main gun in the roof and then you can pop these little ones and the front like so and that still looks all right to be honest i think it should have been a different color other than white silver maybe it perhaps should have been silver it doesn't look it doesn't look as good with the weapons on at all if i'm being honest you can also then take the weapon here and you can then combine these up um but to be honest as i don't really display most of my figures in their alternate modes it isn't going to make too much of a difference uh, it looks okay it's a great idea with the combining weapon but um, whether you agree or not let me know in the comments i definitely think that these shouldn't have been white i don't think they look good at all to be fair in this particular mode right so what we're going to do then we're going to come back for the final time because that's the way i'm going to be displaying him in the robot mode and of course do some comparisons okay then back for the final time and he's in his robot mode which is the way i'm going to be displaying him and in my opinion i think it's the way he looks the best so what we can do then we can take the weapons and what i'm going to do is what i've just realized i could do is i opened him up so i'm going to pop the main gun in his hand like so and i'm going to pop these in his shoulders now i've never even thought or seen this before if someone else has done it i'm sure they have but i just I do like the idea of that. It can sort of work, I suppose, especially with the fossilizers as well. It gives you uh, loads of opportunities to power um, him all up. It's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't look anywhere near as good as I imagine what it's going to be like when we pop these in his shoulders. I'm just really not impressed. Well, sorry, the top of his shoulders with the color of them. I don't like the color of them at all. Um, perhaps it looks a little bit better in the robot mode because obviously it matches with the arms and the thighs. Uh, but I just think, yeah, definitely they could have used a different color and I'm sure it would have looked much, much better. Quickly while I'm here, I showed you the Transformers catalog earlier. This is a Diclone catalog. Again, there's videos of this individually on my channel and we will be able to see the original silver streak as he's known or blue blue streak as he's otherwise known as well so that's again the reason for this figure that um, hasbro car are now doing a lot of diaclone homages we've had lift ticket we're getting dk guard we've got this guy so uh, as you can see by that picture i imagine we're going to get loads more so here is another person who uses the same mold looks pretty good as well i've just got him pretty much on his tiptoes compared to him um yeah i think very similar aren't they in fact they are even the head sculpt looks exactly the same um and here is the original but that's a blue streak lovely figures looking great uh, again just a little uh, disappointed for us uk guys it's, it's harder to get than it is obviously walking into your local target but anyway guys um i hope you enjoyed looking at him i hope it helped uh, with you the decision if you wanted to get one for yourself and of course i hope uh, the information i gave you on him as well was also interesting to you let me know what you think in the comments and take care he looks really good so of course on the head you can twist it can wait this is so stiff is it yep there you go oh there you go if you twist it it comes off that's not good um it is on a ball which you can see it's that better now it's moving thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe